Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Joe, and Rob. The crew is taking your calls, so dial in at 1-800-808-5548. And we are back. You know, time flies when you're having fun. That was a fast one. Chris, we were good. Yes. Like I said, we were goof around for We always seven goof off right there. You know, and we have... We have a great producer first right now. First seven minutes. You know, we have not had her for a little while right now. I know, but we're spoiled. You. I think Ashley took the day off. She couldn't minutes. stand yep. us anymore. <laughs> she could not stop cracking up like she was anymore. She had to take one break from us, yeah. and, and, and we get we get somebody who's equally impressive. So, yeah, Well, anyway, we're talking with Ashley Bowles with AB Bowles Inspection, and again, one of our great sponsors, and but really one, one of the best inspectors I've ever uh, had the privilege of knowing. And he's done an inspection for me and, and several people in our company, I believe. Now. And everyone that I've heard who uses Ashley, by the way, individuals that I've referred over to him, I'm going to, and this is a third party for you, Ashley, have absolutely raved about you. Yep. Yeah. Likewise. I mean, absolutely just said, not only is you a great individual, but how good you are as far as thoroughness in the inspection. And I want to I say thank you. You're our favorite you Canuck. He is from Canada. So yes, that's uh, right. He is our favorite connection. Well, OSHA that. requires us to have one. So, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> if you're going to have one, it might as well be a good but, one. But the yes. su- supreme compliment is a, is that when you get uh, Ashley's over inspecting a, a seller's home, seller gets a little angry and you know offended at first, and then turn around and then calls him because they want that same inspection when they go buy their new home. So that I don't think the compliment gets much better than that. Do you? No, I think that was one of the one of the first inspections I did for you. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, and you had three in one week that did the same thing. So yeah, last, last month I had three people call me up, and one guy actually told me he's like, when I read the report at first about my house, he goes, I hated you. <laughs> And he goes, and then after thinking about it, he goes, I would like to have that same kind of service when I get my new home. And I actually did the inspection for him, and everything was great. It, and it was just, but the, people, once people, they realized. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I often can, I have a, like a you know a two-minute two talk about inspections before I ever let someone even get in my car. I talked to the sellers about this. I said, you know, it's not going to be a love sonnet. When you no. get the, it's going to sound like that house is falling down, but it, it's incumbent on you t- to make sure that, they know what they're buying, and that's what I want them. I want them to know what they're buying. There's no perfect house, not even new construction. No, there's not. And and the big thing is about the reports and what we're doing is we are looking out for the consumer. We are all, our biggest goal is to educate the consumer so that they can have they get a fair deal and they know what they're purchasing before they actually do the purchase because it's a large investment. It, it, it's and most people it's their biggest investment in their life. Yes, sir. It's gonna be that house and and I just want them to know <clears throat> this is what it is. There's not gonna be a perfect house and some are gonna be major things. A lot of times it's something that when the house was built, certain things weren't code back in the eighties. You know, GFCIs were not code. Arc protectors weren't code until uh, two thousand two thousand something. Yes, two thousand two, and then it changed again in two thousand eight. So. It, but but you, it it's a requirement a legal requirement of you to point that out on the inspection report and of course then the the buyers are going well, what what is this well is is it's it, not a big deal but no it is you need what to it know. is but we have to write it exactly and then there there are things that we have to put in there whether it be people use the word grandfathered a lot well when it comes to safety nothing's grandfathered so it doesn't doesn't there's no such thing as a grandfathered in so we have to write it, <laughs> and it just causes – sometimes it causes an issue. It's not saying that they have to fix it. I'm not giving you a repair list. It's an information list. I just want to say there's nothing safe about my grandfather either. Yeah, that's right. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh, wow. And the madness continues. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's always fun just to see how much you can mess with somebody while they're, you know, trying to talk and, you know, have a serious point, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well. Hey, I know, you're, I know you're saying something intelligent. Let's get a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Let's document it. So, so Ashley, if, if someone wanted to get a hold of you to – schedule an inspection or have a question even how would they get hold of you they can always call me or at uh, 832-306-3723 or send me an email at a bowls at a b bowls dash home inspections.com okay excellent excellent well i hope that they do and stuff like that and of course now that we've had the inspection report and we saw that there was uh issues that that indicate there might be some slab issues, and they were right. called John Dowdy with Permapier. That is correct. So there might be some cracks in that foundation. There might be some cracks in that, that foundation, or you some, might be some, some gaps and cracks. Gaps and cracks, exactly. <laughs> hey, you know, right. we're, we're doing a lot better this week. We <laughs> managed to keep it together. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> anyway, so you get it. 
Do you often get a hold of the inspection reports, John? From, oh, all, all all the time. All, all the time. And, and nine times out of ten, when a, when somebody comes to me with an inspection report, it's going to be a buyer's agent uh, who, who's <laughs> try, looking out for the best interest of the client. Um, just well, as a little hold side, together over there, little, Chris. little side note, mind. we're getting a slight downward spiral here. Not all the way, but <laughs> <laughs> diagonal. It's a Di- diagonal, diagonal spiral. spiral. Okay. okay. Anyway, it's but, the horizontal but, drilling. Yeah. I was just going to say it's horizontal, horizontal um, drilling. I'm yeah. a straight guy here. I'm kind of, I love and, you guys, but you know what? And he's got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he really does. You got nothing to prove to me, Rob. Yeah, it's cool. it's, We're friends. Good. <laughs> that's good. Deal. That's, that's, nice that's, you announced that on radio, but it was irrelevant. <laughs> I don't know if we can ever have Permapure on again. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just send us your checks every month? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But but just, this is a serious thing because you yes. know when I'm uh, working with my clients and things like that, there's two big issues that I always concerned about: roof, foundation, mm-hmm. and air conditioner. So there's oh, really yeah, three absolutely. things. Those are your big ticket items, and your your lenders and stuff. Those, that's their big concern. And Chris can attest to this: if you if your underwriter sees and it's a report from the appraiser and things like that. It says there's roof or there's severe slab or, you know, you know more than moderate slab uh, movement or uh, they will not underwrite it. Right. Period. Well, generally speaking, an appraisal is going to come back, and what they're going to do is they're actually not going to actually put that there's a foundation issue. What they'll do is they will request an engineering, uh, a professional engineering report to be done to verify some of the cracks that they see, you know, or movements or settlements that they see in regards to doors not shutting, cracks in the wall, movement around the base of the home, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of times what they'll do is they'll request a structural engineer to go out there and do a report and verify. So the appraisal will be done as a subject to, subject to a specific report. So then what generally happens is we have to get somebody out there to do a structural engineering report. That structural engineering report comes back and says, permit peer needs to get out here. And look and see what needs to be done. <laughs> now, John, uh, do you all have engineers on staff, or you outsource that? Or? We we outsource that, and the big reason behind us outsourcing the engineering work is to keep it keep everything unbiased. Uh, what I've seen in the industry is a lot of staff engineers. Well, guess who's padding their pocket? Yes, you know, somebody somebody's buying them a Porsche this year. So, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we we like to keep everything unbiased. We like to maintain a level of a high level of accuracy, um, and then you know, coupled with our integrity. That, well, that's a great way to do it. I didn't even think about that aspect yeah. of it because, and I have had uh, reports of certain slab companies. They'll go out and they'll tell somebody they need, you know, a mm-hmm. lot of peers and things like that. And the, the only thing they they need to maybe put a soaker hose around it or something to right. uh, maintain that soil moisture. And so, <clears throat> when you have, um, uh, you know, I, I would, I'm trying to think of some of the uh, the telltale signs and all this sort of thing. And this is probably going to be one of those it depends responses right. here. Um, first of all, do you have to have cracks or anything like that uh, to indicate problems? Is that the you know the sign, or can you have serious foundation issues without seeing that kind of stuff? It depends. <laughs> now, <laughs> no, proving um, my point. <laughs> usually, usually you're going to see some kind of stre- distress on the home. Uh, sheetrock cracks, doors being out of alignment, doors not opening or closing properly, windows, window casing separations between, you know, a brick veneer or a hardy plank siding on the exterior of the home, uh, cracks in the bricks, uh, fascia boards rotating. I mean, there's a long, long laundry list of items that are telltale signs. Now, I have seen homes where, and this t- usually in a home that's been remodeled, where we've got all kinds of deflection, and you walk through it, and you can't tell other than the floor's a little uneven because somebody's come in and remodeled things, mm. uh, which is a very, very dangerous thing to do because as you go to raise it, all the damage you corrected mm-hmm. is going to multiply by however many fold. Yeah, and we're going to ask Wes in a minute because usually when son has their foundation work done, I always tell them wait about four to six months before they ever come back in and remodel. You have to live with that right. for a little while. But, Four to six months is a little extreme. I mean, that's one of those surefire dead bang kind of things. But, uh, I mean, I always advise people um, 45 to 90 days. 45 to 90. Yeah. Okay. The the reason I asked that was this, that um, we have one of our kids' doors upstairs that, it, it, you know, it closes on its own, uh, which could ultimately. Be, could be just haunted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, okay, that's that's it's called a haunted I'm going house. with haunted. I'm going with haunted. Yeah, it depends on uh, the AC, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very true. Right. Very true. Um, but this, I, I, it definitely has a, an out of alignment thing going on, right? 
And it drives me crazy for no other reason than the dog will go in his room at night and then the dog the door closes <laughs> and then she will bark until I was... go let her out. Which drives me insane. That's right. the only reason I care about fixing Three in the it. morning, banging the wall, getting yes. in there. I'm, I, <laughs> yes. I'm getting a whole new understanding of Joe now. Yes. <laughs> I, I want to sleep. You know, it's like, I, we don't care about justice. We want quiet. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that door is kind of out of alignment. But there's no, you know, there's no cracks anywhere in any of the drywall or anything that I see. You know, I, I've looked for other signs. There's no brick outside that has cracks, you know, in, in the mortar or anything. Um, so nothing apart from that door has given me any indication. I'm going to go buy trouble. you a five dollar doorstop. All you only do is slide on that thing, hold it in <laughs> place. You know, it's, it's an Man. easy fix. Yeah. Man, Joe. I mean, Rob's over here high falutin talking about a five dollar doorstop. I was talking about a roll of duct tape. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, and, and once again, it's a. You, you never know. I mean, it, without without, and, and it's like trying to diagnose a heart murmur when you know over the phone. I mean, yeah, the doctor sure, sure. can't do it. I can't really justly say what's going on at your home. Um. Sounds like there's a party at Joe's house on Friday, Saturday night, right? <laughs> yeah. Go over there, yeah. take a look, and uh, well, I got all, everybody, Vegas, right? everybody that I need right here in the room. That's right. <laughs> well, that's true. We got nice. we get Brett Hatfield back from uh, down in the pools, and you're set. Yeah. Yes, that yeah. is correct. A, a remodel, Kim. We're trying to either get your house remodeled in that pool and, or a new house. We're we're working on. We're working it. on yeah. one of, one of the five items. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we go. have we have our list of priorities and things like that. So, uh, how do we get a hold of you, John? Uh, you can call our office. Our office tele- telephone number is area code 713-849-9993. If you've got any technical technical questions, feel free to give me a call. I'm going to give out my personal line, uh, area code 713-470-7606. And will you all go out there and do free estimates for people? Absolutely. You know, and that's always important because sometimes people are, are more afraid. You know, what do I do? And how much is it going to well, cost some me? Some people don't want to know. Right. You know, right. They, you know, they like that, ignorant bliss. Let's that, just remodel and cover it up. Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. That's what he was talking about is that people will go ahead and remodel and go, oh, you know what? We've got cupping on the floor. We've got this and this. Let's just go ahead and, you know, fix that sheetrock and things like that. They Like like it's going to heal itself. Right. And, and well, well, Band-Aids don't fix problems. They absolutely do not. They well, do not. But it puts a little cover over it. So. I mean, yeah. granted, it yeah. looks nice and it's passable, <laughs> but I mean, uh-oh. Absolutely. Well, well we're coming know, up to, uh, against a break again. We are coming up against a break. As usual, time flies when you're having fun, especially with this group of guys we have in here right now. You know, and, and I want to say group of guys. This is the first time I think we've never had, other than our beautiful producer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, she's about, guess. Well, she yeah, turned she, the she was about to look around right there. Uh, uh, get all, all, an all-male cast today. So we are definitely uh, rocking it today with the male cast. So <laughs> stay tuned, though. We're going on a break right now. We'll be right back. 